Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin and Zabs. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be checking out Apex Legends. And we're actually going through each of the characters in Apex Legends. We're going to look at their skins, look at their quote lines, look at their uh, character cards, and uh, essentially uh, get to know the characters a little bit more, see what kind of lore is given out by the stuff that you can unlock for the character, and fi finally look at what skills they have and see what they're kind of like, the way they work in. If you haven't played Apex Legends already, it is actually a battle royale style game with squads from the creators of Titanfall 2. It's probably, I feel like it fits in with the Titanfall IP and actually is, uh, it's, it's, I, I don't want to say it in a negative way, but it does feel like they're scrambling to actually do something with uh, that, envi that environment and world and the skill sets that were involved in it, but still getting involved in like the Overwatch battle, uh, an Overwatch style battle royale experience. Which is something that I've kind of wanted to see. Ram Royale attempted it in a way, and it didn't work really well for them. But uh, with this, I think that actually the character, the um, the world, and the uh, the personality is actually there in every character you can play as. So let's take a look at Lifeline or Combat Medic. So yes, uh, first looking at costumes. Let's go in and take a look at the legendary ones. Peak Performer. And wow, <laughs> that is shiny. I really like the shiny jacket. Definitely cleats on the bottom of the shoes. Yeah, this feels like it's a mountain climber's costume more than it actually is a medic's costume or a mountain climbing medic. If you're going to put it all together, I like the design. I like the style. Uh, I love it. This is actually the person who would come up and save your ass on a mountain. Came down in my head. It's like I don't know why, but it's very May like from uh, Overwatch. It's just it's uh, someone strikes me about this costume as being May like, and it's just uh, I like it. I like a more. I already know kind of want to have this costume. It's a bright and garish, but super entertaining to look at. And um, yeah, be on board. The only thing I wish it was legendary is if they had changed the, like, the, um, the wee helper pod that you kind of produce out here at the side. It would have been interesting if they had modified that as well as the costume. But you never know. This is the early days. We're going to see more costumes come out. So I wouldn't imagine that's going to stay exactly in the same design. Second one is Vital Signs, which does look more medical in the red and white. It's like a mixture of fire officer, mountain climber, hill walker, medic, and snowboarder. <laughs> you know, it's like you, know, you put all those things together. This is what I imagine it would all be at once. This is like this is what you would say a cross skilled and cross uh, interested and hobbied uh, rescuer of people. Like th this is the kind of person you actually you call on. Is there an emergency? What kind of emergency? Doesn't matter. This person will be able to handle it. The vital signs, I like the look a little bit as well. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. Loving it. London Calling. And I'm sold. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Ah, oh, cool. So, uh, punk. Punk costume. Uh, everything looks a little bit more tatted. Uh, tatted or not tatted, uh, tatty. But um, I love the, the pants. Like, I love the design and pattern on it, the tartany kind of... Uh, it's fine. The shoes look cool. Like not as bulky as any some of the other ones. Um, we acid face down there. Bit of a raver thing going on. Backpack looks cool too. Yeah. And a skeleton top. Yeah. <laughs> that, this is the one I want. <laughs> I want this costume. Like it doesn't matter about any of the rest of these. Now I know London Collins is gonna be the one I'll want to be playing in. And organized anarchy. Okay. And that is that's much more dance rave. So like yeah, London Calling, uh, punk. Organized Anarchy, Rave. <laughs> That's what the difference is. It's a color pattern, it's much more raver. Um, expect glow sticks. That's what I imagine. And yeah, that's it is it is that same costume of a color swap and a couple more patterns. I like the actual um, patterning on these trousers a bit more. So the rave wear looks cool. If I didn't get if I didn't get London Calling, I'd like the Organized Anarchy, but I want London Calling. So that's that's the one I want. I know I know this. I know this for sure. So fiber optics. We'll get on to our little holographic ones that actually have like a holographic travel through. On parts of the costume so it goes down they always thought it seemed like it went through a layer so obviously it's actually on the under layer clothes it's going through the sleeves going through the black shirt and through, through the pants um i'm falling less the more characters i see through with this costume it appears that some of them work for characters some of them just don't um bloodhound worked really well with a couple of designs just for the where the layers were on him her i don't see it so well yet but we'll see as we go through the costume um demon hunter love the red head um pattern all right, but it's, it's occluded by so much stuff as it passes through. I, I almost wish they had inverted what parts were actually patterning. They actually used the red and then accented the red, so it was actually a 
deeper red points. Like, that would have worked better rather than actually doing it on the other layer. But we'll see. Lock chain reaction. Purple! Yep, I'm sold. Purple. <laughs> I'll take a purple costume. If it's a purple costume, I will have the purple costume. This will be my backup. If I'm not wearing London's Calling, I'll be wearing Blockchain Reaction. We have solved the option. Uh, is it all solved? And I, Actually, it's the same pattern as the um, Hack the World ones from other people that's usually in green, but she looks so much better in the purple. Works for, works for me. Done. Um, heat sink. Patches and colors look cool. But, and the, Actually, do you know what? That pattern works really well on her compared to the other guys. Yeah. That one looks pretty cool as well. I actually like that. Like I said, these uh, this kind of holographic pattern thing works differently. Some of them look better on characters than others, but uh, heat sink works on her really well. Well, it's called heat sink in this, but the other ones is like burn the burn the planet or whatever it was. But yeah, heat involved. Be spotted flames. Good. And so does neural net. Cool. Right, the way that one actually rises through looks really cool. Yeah, so both of those ones, ones that I, I don't like those two on most of the other two characters I've seen so far, or most of the characters I've seen so far, but uh, this one I am sold on. Yeah, there's actually, I, I, uh, for the medic, I actually see so many costumes that I'd be interested in getting. I like them all. Well, not all of them, but I'm liking many of them. And uh, because they're the rare ones, they're not too bad at 400. Yeah, hopefully we'll unlock these as we actually unlock boxes and play the game. Right, um, on to the flats, the uh, uncommons. Now, because she has so much actual surface to actually put the pattern onto, I'm actually interested in seeing how some of these really look because they're gonna they're gonna actually look fantastic, I think. Right, uh, not product. I like it. I, it's garish and bright and probably gonna get you killed very, very easily, but damn, I actually like it a lot. Uh, the camo on her, again. I like the... the it's just the fact that she has that much of a base surface clothing that actually these basic ones, the lower level ones, all look like they'll work really well on her. Tie dye looks awesome. Like the bandana, it's got a bit of a change to it as well, and I like it. I love the fact that it's actually a smaller pattern on the sleeves. Yep, I'm I'm actually on board. Like I'm liking all these. I'm, I'm maybe it's just I like the character, and I'm actually liking all the costumes on her. Uh, Tropic streak, it looks the same as everybody else. <laughs> Never mind. There's costumes in here I don't like. Uh, mint condition <laughs> and uh, this one wasn't made out of the drapes or the curtains this was made off the tabletop so there's actually like the cover that was on the table i made it in clothes looks good <laughs> decker past uh this one looks awful um i imagine some people might like that but no nah, that one doesn't fit for me desert scorpion desert camo kind of wear i don't know if i like it but all right this no, that one doesn't sell and <laughs> the brand that kept just a Previous one didn't sell it on me, but yeah, I like this one. Purple, all the purple. We'll take the purple. That's cool. It's Sanchi. Uh, looks like we chunky bits of rock. Just the purple pattern on. Works for me. Purple always wins. Purple always wins. And uh, this one actually doesn't too do bad for me either. This one's actually meant to be like uh, pattern shape for like uh, heads, but it looks like paint slots and like, spilled all over the purple. But again, purple. Don't care. Works for me. Um. Black Light Classic. I'm, I'm really annoyed at myself that I'm just going to go, like it, buy it, like it, buy it. I would actually like this one too. Uh, the floral one actually worked well on Bloodhound. And I actually like the floral one on uh, Gibraltar as well. So I'm on board with this. I've, uh, essentially, I think, I've, I think I'm think i going to actually enjoy this one because they'll, be, they'll feel almost aesthetically suited to the character, whatever way they do them on. Warlord. A bit of a standard red battle costume. Some people will love it. Edge Lords will love it. I'm not too much of a fan. Sizzle reel. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sell it on me. But um, again, cool pattern. And it's just because she has so much of it on her. Um, I'd actually like it with most of the costume, but yeah. I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna be too fussed in that. Postal wave? Nope, not a fan. Uh looks a bit chilled, but um uh not liking the blue and white. Self-organized. Uh Pattern shape looks cool, very bright, cheerful, but not one that I'd be chasing up. Purgatory. Skulls are back! Purple skulls! Purple skulls. I like skulls. I actually will like the design of this character. Um, not too sure if I like this one on her, but I, I like the pattern that's underneath, and skulls are cool. So Maybe, maybe, maybe. Amethyst, uh, purple strapping. On the common ones, that actually would go well. I'd take that, um, essentially because it's actually inverted. All the base colors, but then just the strapping's been changed over. I like that one. Plain black with the strapping. Worked for me. 
Um, nah, and then the rest of these obviously are going to be all in the same vein, but just for a color swap. Uh, we'll go through them just to see if there's anything that jumps out. Orchid works for me with Am Amethyst is very, very pale and a bit blue. Orchid works for me better. I actually like it more just because it's more of a vivid uh, purple. I mean, going, no. Clear water, nope. 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 Evergreen, nope. Limelight, nope. Yellow jacket, nope. Uh, like, it actually looks like it's just yellow tip. <laughs> Skyward, nah. Hydro, nah. Rage, nah. Well, it's, uh, it's going to be common enough. Don't, uh, the common ones are going to be like, uh, better mess matter on whether or not you like the color, but Amethyst and Orchard be on board with on those two. <coughs> Excuse me, folks are actually getting a cough in the middle of that. Uh, right, we're going through the banners and frames, poses and everything else. Let's see what frames we got in the legendary section. Now, just if you haven't actually watched any of the videos previously, the legendary uh, frames actually have animations in them. The uncommon ones are like a detailed picture that'll be in the background or foreground. But the uncommons will be simple patterns and shapes. Now, the battle card, this sexual card, if you have, will be dropped by you whenever you die. So every single time you die, you're, and your teammate manages to pick it up off your dead body or your dead box, <laughs> really more than anything else, and tries to get you back to the spawn point. That'll actually allow you to come back into the game. So this, like, you'll see this happen common enough. But the problem is, like, with some games where you have these kind of character cards, they, you only see them like for the two, two seconds before the fight starts, or at the top of the screen where the fight's going on. Like, say in fighting games, that's the most common thing I think about them, and, and uh, most of them don't really mean that much. But they give you a little bit of chance of personalization. In this, you can actively have some motion and flow to it, and you have some choices. So I'm looking forward to seeing what one. Shooting star. <laughs> All right. Um, kicking points and winning points. And Kicking asses. Uh, I like the design. Imagine there's probably some active poses that'll work really well with that, but um, not too sure yet. Um, wouldn't buy. I wouldn't choose that one for myself. Uh, perfectly suited for the character. Makes complete sense. Looks cool with the actual electric shock in it. A uh, good little bit of animation. I like. I like this one. Um, don't know if I take it myself, but still good. Good medicine. Uh, ooh, right. Uh, the, the, I don't. I don't like band aids. <laughs> It sounds weird, but for a medic, uh, it's completely appropriate. But I just don't like band aids. I just, they, I just never like them. In general. Search and rescue, perfectly appropriate for those top two costume designs. I love it. I like it. The carboners and the ropes. I want this one. Feel the heartbeat. Um, medical environment. Cotton wool buds. Completely appropriate for character, just not in my interest. Search and Rescue would be the one I'd go with uh, if I had to pick one of these. In Stitches, like it, because it actually passes back and forward across the actual image. Uh, I, it's piecing it back together again. I like that one. It just gets Stitches. But you might actually feel better afterwards, so... He does them, they won't even leave a mark. Uh, shots in the background. Thanks. Temperature rising, thermometers and candy canes. Alright. Patch back up. <laughs> with literally with a hammer and nails. I, I don't know if uh, nails and wood are appropriate, but I think that's meant to be bandages uh, with uh, like a staple stitch. Yeah, th th let's just say it was a staple. And surgical with the cross blades and surgical zip cut. With, uh, I mean, sorry, is that meant to be like surgical steel background or something? Appropriate. Makes sense. And then the last couple ones are just flat background star. I actually really like the star one, even with that poke. One's, it's suitable and I actually like the green tint to it. Uh, pink with stripes, love, love, and stripe three. Yeah, I think we'll just go back to the right. And we'll jump into the poses and take a look at those. So, with these, it'll be animated poses for the rarities, and then the uncommons, they'll be just uh, standing still. <laughs> like that, and that's actually a healing gun. So, yeah, cool beans. Uh, I should go with that one. If I, if I had to go over it by default, I would do it immediately. <laughs> oh, I like that. Just the fact that she's riding on the top of her little uh, helper droid. So yeah, works for me. Uh, so I'm liking both of those. I probably would take Joyride over Funslinger though. And yes. <laughs> I'm liking all these so far. <laughs> Okay, design-wise, um, I've just realized that the, the droid's meant to be almost like a little pet. Bad doc. Bad docky. You don't do that. Don't go like Don't be looking for supplies. You're not allowed to. Stay out of the supplies. <laughs> okay, what's the last good? <laughs> okay, so um, everything, 
everything in there I like, but drum roll, bad doc, and good vibes have my um, top votes for one, two, and three, and then no different order in them. They're just pretty cool. Um, any one of the legendaries for her are actually gold. It's, it's just, you know, you know some, like, some characters just have a lot of cool stuff that you want on that character, and I know I'm probably going to play as her more often, so I really hope I get good at being a medic. <laughs> I really, really hope I do. And I mean, this just means I follow people around at all times, and as soon as they start getting shot, I pop the dock as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even the uncommon ones are actually adorable. Relax. Even all these are actually, like, I'm on board with them. Daydreamer looks nice. Fucking all of these. <laughs> Awesome, right? So let's just say, everything in that list, I'm on board with, and I think are cool with the character. Uh, tells you a lot about the personality between her and the doc and who we're actually listening to. I am really excited to hear through her quips to see what the character is actually like, see what she has to say for herself. This is brilliant. I, I, I'm so glad I started doing this with each of the characters because I'm actually getting more into it. I'm, I'm getting involved, interested in them, and I hope you are too as well. Small up yourself. AJ Shea's coming true. AJ Shea. Bring it. AJ Shea will be waiting for you down there. I'd watch out for my squad if I were you. <laughs> That's a threat and a half. Switch your wings and, and fight. You have been no romp with me. All right, there's plenty of attitude in there. Essentially, you go on like that. I want this to fit with the punk costume. If it's really well, I know what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Accept it. I'm here. You're not. Mm. Ain't afraid of you. You hear me? Medea, all good for me. You better hope you're with me. Don't worry. It's easy. Bleed, patch, and keep moving. <laughs> Pretty much the real thumb. I actually like that one because that's what I'm going to be doing non-stop. Champion challenger means little if you die. Mm. You cheered there? A win don't come easy for you. I've seen it all. Today not different. You looking at a fighter. What am I looking at? Like that one too. Uh, that, one's, that one's got maximum size. Move it or quit. Remember this face. It's coming for you. Want advice? Stay out of my way. It takes a lot to take me out. Good. I hope so. Wanna be here? Take me out. <laughs> you ain't that bright if you wanna take me on. Aye. That's a... He doesn't have as many lines um, as the first two characters so far, but I imagine like some characters that I probably have more unlocked. Like with her, all of her costumes look amazing. So maybe it's just the fact that she doesn't have as many voice lines, uh, characterizations put in yet. But they they nailed it with the costumes. So I thought, right, well, we'll at least more as time goes along. But yeah, um, all those seem to be exactly on you know, like on direction for character. Um, and I like I like the tone of the character as well. And although these ones don't really tell me much about their personality other than that she's a badass and she's ready for ready to rock. And she'll actually, she'll, start, she, she'll stitch you back together, but wants you back into the fight as soon as possible. All right, standard healer kind of mentality. I'm okay with this. All right, so here's our kill lines. Brush it off, you lost this one. They don't just call me lifeline because I save a life. <laughs> it's because she cuts off people's lives as well. Don't blame yourself. You got a whole squad that failed you. The skill takes experience and strength. I have both. Giving up is no thing I would do. Oh, nice one. This good for you. Good match. I came to win. You didn't. I had a job to do. Don't be shocked. I know what I'm doing. I won this one. Remember this. I'm the one you should have concerns about. Was it? Remember this. I'm the one you should have concerns about. 
Remember this, I'm the one you should have concerns about. Something about Zanzibar? I just, like, I literally, I, do, I just can't pick up that line. I'm, I'm literally going to turn it up and try it again. Remember this, I'm the one you should have concerns about. Remember this, I'm the one you should have concerns about. Tell some, they tell something a name about, but I don't know what is actually being said. I'm, I'm sorry. Just so, so, you know, sometimes when you're hearing words, I'm going like, I'm pretty sure I'm hearing this right, but I'm probably wrong. If you want to translate that line for me, throw it in the comments below. Because I'm, just, I'm just not picking it up in the accent. It's a big up feeling to win. It's our skill. It's just a loss. Take it. Breathe easy. It's over for you. You listen to me, it's over. Losing, that's a drag. Never quit, that's how you win. Next time, next time you'll do better. Now romp with me, not today. No support, that's a shame. Not your day. In the future, pay more attention. It'll do you good. Quit your whinging. Take this as motivation. Be better. Take this loss with pride. Thank you. You made me just a little bit better. This is just how it is. This is my win. Remember that. This is not my first time. Use the pressure. It's the only way to survive. Come on, use your head. What happens to you happens to you. That good for you. Win it. Now that's a good feeling. You're gonna need to work a bit harder next time. Breathe easy. You lost this one. You lost. Take it. Your skill wasn't half bad. Remember that. Your team let you down, brethren. Your time is ended. So, yeah. Um, a lot of those lines are just kind of like passively atti attacking the person's team. So, like, I'm not... Nothing there really jumps out at me. Nothing that actually made me like, ha! or like, oh, that's awesome. That's just a lot of standard lines. I think visually this character, like mechanically and visually, this character intrigues me. But I'm not seeing something. I'm not, there's something missing there for me actually at the tail end of it. Maybe the finishers will carry it off and I won't even care about what the dialogue lines are. But I don't know. Nothing, nothing in the kill lines really makes sense. I suppose it's very hard to balance because you're playing. This is a support character designed to keep people alive. They're not going to revel in murder, <laughs> I suppose. Drumstick to the face? That's not going to kill you. No, if it actually had been like two of them in one hand and she like plunged one on the other side of your head and then it was only standing one after, it was going like, mm. that might have been, like that would have been grotesque, but also very effective. But the drumstick, I'm not too sure. Like it's very like Gibraltar's kind of one where he strikes a pose, then brings out his weapon and hits you down. But no, I'm not, I'm not too sure I like the default finisher either. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I don't I don't like the I don't like stabbing in the neck with a needle. Mm, no 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 no. It's it's the actual eyes afterwards as well, no. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Did he, he just like plunges Doc's dick into your chest and then tells you, you know, just tells her to give you a shock? Fuck! Okay, well, <laughs> it's literally Nod that I like in this one, but um, AJ's Lullaby and Doc's Shock, both are fucking, they're really disturbing <laughs> actual finishers. Um, I don't want them to happen to me, but I'm sure it's going to happen at some point soon. So yeah, uh, Lifeline, I love her, uh, the character skins are amazing. Banners look pretty good. Um, I'm on board with nearly all of those for the pose and for the frame. Uh, although, actually, no, the frame legendaries. I'm not a huge fan of the legendaries, but there's one that I actually like the look of. Everything's kind of like in line. I know what I want from the character. Um, might as well, let's take a look at the skills. I've already played, like looked at this character's skills just for myself, but um, I'm interested. This, I'm show, 
guys as well. Passive combat medic, revive knockdown teammates faster when protected by a shield wall. While protected by a shield wall, healing items are used 25% faster. So sure, her longevity is very, very high. You don't need to spend a long time healing yourself. You don't have to spend as much time picking up people. It's designed to actually really help you get back on your feet. Uh, Doc Heal Drone, uh, the Doc, <laughs> the Drone of Compassion. I like the naming automatically heals those near it over time so literally you just throw that out and it actually drops heals on anybody who's standing in squad with you if you got one of these and you've got uh, a gibraltar in your team and you throw a dome up and then you literally just pop this boom you've got yourself sorted and care package call on a drop a drop pod full of high quality defensive gear they're chatting like um knockdown shields uh armament and um I, th I think even whenever i first dropped one down it actually had a stock for my gun that made it more stable so you've got actually uh active positive boosts that are actually come from it as well so um she is a true support type and so you wouldn't get any damage out of her from this so you have to be a good shot if you're going to actually be shooting at all that's, that's what it comes down to and that's what it feels like but uh yeah lifeline combat medic i love the design of the character love the design of the costumes uh, there's a lot of stuff i like about her but Something, something's missing in the voice lines and uh, and kind of in the finishers because like you go from the voice lines being not too angry or glorifying like don't don't rock on me don't don't start me don't give me reason to kill you like kind of thing and then she stabs you in the neck with a needle or zaps you with a dock stick uh, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 of two minds in the design but I'm liking the character. Um, if you have any thoughts of your own or any kind of opinions, feel free to drop them in the comments below underneath the video. I'm looking forward to playing a little bit more Apex Legends over the period of this week. So let's see if I can get, let's see if I can actually get into a battle royale mindset. Let's see if I can actually get into these kind of games because this is almost exactly what I asked for. I wanted an Overwatch style battle royale game. Thought Realm Royale might have been it. Didn't quite feel it because it still felt a bit MOBA esque more than anything else. So. Um, yeah, let's 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 give this one a try. I'm actually I'm looking forward to getting into it. So feel free to join me here on the live streams or actually here on the channel. And if you happen to enjoy watching this video in particular, there's a whole series of these coming out, each one for each character. Then feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all the other things, and share them around if you get the opportunity. So um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.